I'm not gonna lie, nothing makes me more happy than a bowl of udon noodles. I, I genuinely don't know why. They are my favorite noodles. I love how thick they are. I love how they taste. I love how they are when they're a bit crispy, but I still love how they are when they're soft. And for this scene that I am making with a mu not even a mutual, but a person who I saw on Twitter, I really wanted to share this recipe for udon noodles as well as promote this project which i'm going to put in the very end so basically making this udon noodle stir fry it's usually a box of udon noodles i try to make it a vegan vegetarian as vegan or vegetarian as possible but i couldn't really do it so this is literally just me dumping in pre-made stuff, but I did do things to make it a little bit more homemade in case these packages aren't accessible to you or if you just wanted a homemade thing. So, all you need is the package of udon. If you don't have like the pre-packed udon noodles, you could just go and get some soy sauce and sugar and gochujang which it's not a part of the package. That's a new thing that you add. And then you also get miso and green onions. If, oh, also tofu. And another thing, if you want, this is optional, an egg. So what you do is that you put in some cooking oil, tofu, and then you stir fry it for a few minutes. And then, you do that while boiling your udon noodles to the side. So you either do that by following the package or do what I do, which is just pour hot water in a bunch of udon noodles and then microwave it for around three minutes. I know that's not the traditional way to do it. That's how I've been doing it literally ever since I've had udon noodles. I'm so sorry to everyone who I upset to like do that. I guess you could also boil it in like a pot of boiling water. I genuinely have never done that before. I probably should, but I just don't like washing dishes. <laughs> um, and then while that is cooking, you just basically put in the soy sauce and the sugar. If you don't have the original, um, the original like flavor packaging, and stir it. When the udon noodles are done mix in the hot water that you boiled the udon noodles with with miso and the gochujang and the soy sauce mixture that you have or the flavor package if you have the flavor package and if you also have a pre-made udon every single thing that you have in that package dump i will give you a warning that that isn't vegan or vegetarian because there are fish cakes in there um but yeah just a little warning there but you just go and you stir it all together until the noodles start to become crispy. After that, you go and add in an egg. And I tend to prefer it to be fried or steamed or poached. So I just put a lid over it and just let it steam for a few minutes. And then afterwards I take it out and then I put fresh green onions in and I'm done. I'm pretty sure that there are more fun and complex ways to make udon noodles. I've had kimchi udon noodles before, which I love and are delicious, but um, it is someone else's recipe and I didn't want to copy it for a zine, so I didn't do that. And I will say that this, it doesn't have to just be this. You could add as many vegetables as you want, and if you want to add kimchi to this, you can. Um, and that is basically all that you need to know about this um, udon noodle concoction that I made. It's super simple and it's literally kind of like the college student version of udon noodles that you could get. But it is my favorite udon noodles. So yeah. Oh, I forgot to say, I also put in Chinese chili oil, which if you don't have gochujang, use Chinese chili oil. If not, use gochujang. If not, use gochujang. Or you could put in sriracha too. And this is
is all really to taste. I just throw in what I think I put in whenever I do this. I don't go by measurements, probably because um, I am like that person. <laughs> I am a Vietnamese woman. That's just what happens. But um, you really just go and you fry it to taste. And I like the spice of it, so I do add a little bit more than I recommended. I didn't recommend anything. Okay, this is still a work in progress thing that I did. However, I do want to go and promote what this project is. Zine is going to help bring attention and notice to people who are incarcerated and also um, people around the Bay Area. So this is for like food supplies and direct donations and things to help with sponsorships and bringing out information. It's been a while since I've drawn a zine and I really did want to take part in this when I saw this while scrolling through Twitter. And I was really excited to play a part in it and do whatever I can to help out. And I'm glad that this would be my little piece of something just to ensure that those who need help can get the help that they need. Prisoner Lit Project is one of the many places that the original person who posted this wanted to take part in. And I thought it would be cool to help provide a recipe or a page to help out. This is only one of the few things that I've been wanting to do for mutual aid. I also wanted to be here to talk about my Redbubble store as all the proceeds that I receive. Not the proceeds that Redbubble has or the prices that are presented to you right now um, are going to be given directly to people who need help with housing, food, and medical services or any other need to survive. Some of my friends and I also decided to start a mutual aid fund to help any mutual aid workers, organizers, and protesters with the funds that they also need information on the zine my shop and mutual aid i will put in the description below thank you so much for watching